Cognition has always been a complicated factor when evaluating MS, but new studies, strategies, and technologies are changing that. Take a listen. We're searching for solutions to cognitive problems in a variety of different ways. And rehabilitation of cognitive changes in MS is now being linked with uh, magnetic resonance imaging, specifically what's known as functional MRI. Functional MRI shows what parts of the brain are actually at work when you're performing certain tasks. And it also can show what parts of the brain may be compensating for other parts of the brain that are not working as well. Rehabilitation specialists have found that, that not only can cognitive rehabilitation help people to function better in everyday life, but that you can actually see changes in the brain, that there are parts of the brain that are lighting up on the screen, that are uh, taking over some of the work for other areas that maybe are not working as well. This is an important research tool because it's helping us to develop a better understanding of the way in which uh, the brain works when someone has MS. It could potentially in the future be used to help pinpoint exactly what's happening in terms of which areas of the brain are being most affected when certain types of problems occur. We've been trying to explain cognitive impairment on the basis of pathology as best as we can assess that with brain MRI. What is it about uh, the MS brain, if you will, that uh, creates cognitive impairment? In years past, we used to think it had much to do with where lesions are located, demyelinating lesions are located in the white matter and how much of that problem there is. And in recent years, we've come to understand that much of the problem is related to the loss of tissue in the brain, particularly the gray matter. It turns out that the deep gray matter structures in the brain are particularly vulnerable to this problem in MS patients. And if we had to single out a specific structure, we may pick the thalamus. So we're presenting a study here this afternoon that will tell us that uh, axonal injury in near the thalamus or within the thalamus also contributes to cognitive impairment in MS patients. And it may mean that those, that axonal injury is actually causing the thal thalamus to degenerate, and that's why we see that relationship. We continue to try to find a useful pharmacologic approach to treating cognitive impairment. Uh, we're not quite there yet, but uh, there are a lot of posit positive avenues. One of these is rec a recent study on uh, a drug called lisdexamphetamine, where we showed a positive outcome on an important clinical outcome measure, and we're going to see if we can replicate that. Research around risk factors is bringing us closer to what might trigger MS and what might prevent it. Tune in tomorrow.